Hello and welcome to the Maths Department here at Beacon Academy. My name is Mr Stone and I'm the Head of Maths here. Uh, what I'm going to do is quickly run through the prerequisites uh, required to be able to do A-level mathematics here at Beacon and then I'll hand over to Ms Robinson who will run through the final details uh, for the sixth form maths and we'll also meet some of the students who are presently doing maths here at Beacon Academy in sixth form. First of all, the prerequisites. In order to be able to do pure maths in the sixth form, you must get a minimum of a grade seven at GCSE maths. In order to do further maths, which is a different A level completely, you need a minimum of a grade eight because of the challenge that's involved in further mathematics. The curriculum will be presented very quickly by Ms. Robinson, so you can have a look at that. But from me, that's all. And what I'm going to do now is hand over to Ms. Robinson, who will give you more details of everything. Goodbye and enjoy our talk. Hello, my name's Ms. Robinson, and I'm going to be talking to you about Further Maths at Beacon. Um, I'm one of the main Further Maths teachers. I also run Key Stage 5 Mathematics. So hopefully, you'll find this useful and informative. Uh, if you do have any questions, then please drop us an email afterwards, and I'm sure we can help. Okay, so A level further maths. First thing I'm going to talk about is the syllabus. We use the LXL syllabus, and as for maths, there are three main areas of study there's pure, there's statistics, and there's mechanics. Now, the topics you'll see listed in pure should be pretty much new to you. There's a few that will look familiar, but a lot of them are some uh, topics that you will never have seen in GCSE. And hopefully you'll find them really interesting and the same thing goes for statistics and mechanics it does follow through from maths but again there are quite a lot of new topics in there all right so how do you know if further maths is going to be a good choice well again a bit like maths you need to ask yourself some questions first of all do you enjoy maths a lot and i mean a lot okay do you like solving difficult problems because a lot of the problems in further maths are a lot more difficult than they are in maths when you come across something you don't understand, do you persist until you get it or do you just think, oh, well, never mind? And do you like the idea of having at least two thirds of your time being focused on maths? Because realistically, that's what we're talking about. Um, one of the last things is, do you, do you find the list of topics interesting? Are you, do you want to know more about that? And one of the things as well is, are you interested in a maths or a maths related degree? Because if you are, then further maths might well be a good fit. Okay, so if you answered yes to all of those questions, then I'd say go for it. If you've answered no, then you need to think a bit harder before you decide. Okay, historical results, as you can see, pretty good. We tend to have a relatively small group doing maths, and sorry, do, sorry doing further maths, um, and hence the results are pretty strong. And what we also find is those that do further maths generally do very well in their maths as well. Expectations, it's a bit like for maths, but more okay so first of all you have to do maths as well you can't just do further maths on its own um, we recommend that you start doing four subjects and potentially continue with four to the end of year one because what we do sometimes find is that people decide that even though they've enjoyed further maths the level of work required is a bit much and maybe they'll drop down to three at the end of year one um, there are fewer lessons for further maths than for maths usually about eight hours a fortnight the spare hours aren't really spare at all there for independent study. And although the topics we cover are different, what you will find is that they will help reinforce your maths, but also what you do in maths will help you too. Um, overall, what you just need to bear in mind is it is a demanding course. You do need to be determined. You need to want to succeed. You need to be willing to ask for help. And just bear in mind that it is pretty tough. OK, interesting, very interesting but it is not easy. So think hard before you commit to it. Okay, support wise, it's the same as for maths. We were on the keep up at three evenings a week. Um, you could also, there's a bit more interaction. Well, that's not actually true. There's interaction with every teacher, but particularly for further maths, you really do need to ask your teacher if you're stuck and we will put extra support in place for you, okay? Exams wise, you get four one and a half hour papers at the end of year 13. Two of those are on the pure content. One is on mechanics and one is on statistics. Um, you are allowed a calculator on all exams and the same calculator we recommend for maths is suitable for further maths. And it's the same setup for an internal GATT exam. So you get year 12, February and June and year 13 mocks are December and March. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, if you want to know any more, please do email and hopefully we'll see you in September.
We're here to find out why a few of our students chose further maths and what they think of it. So first question is, why did you choose further maths? Um, I find it's, it's a great support to the other subjects I'm doing. I'm doing physics and maths. Um, a lot of the further maths content overlaps with that. So it's, it's a really good support to be doing sort of similar things in three different subjects. It just helps you to provide a better understanding of what you're, what you're doing in those subjects. Yeah, and it's also really useful for uni applications because a lot of the top universities also look for it. I've always found myself quite passionate towards maths in general from quite a young age, if I'm being honest. So this was just a natural path and hopefully I'm looking to do a career in that sort of direction. So this would be incredibly important to that, I feel. Okay, brilliant. And how is it different to maths? Um, it's a lot more, well, it kind of makes you think about how the maths comes about because you kind of look at where it originates from more and the proof of it and instead of getting just normal formulas, you have to think about where they come from. It's sort of the, the next step in maths, you go so far in solving an equation, and then you might get to a point where you can't go any further. But then in further maths, you, you, you go the step further, you work out the next bit. It is inherently more difficult than maths, because there's also just com completely new content that you don't cover in maths at all, um, on top of the extra stuff from the stuff you've already learned in maths. It's also a lot more like theoretical, like the imaginary numbers, mm -hmm. stuff that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of it's quite conceptual. Yeah. Okay, and what do you like about it? Um, I quite like my class. Mm. Yeah. That's not too bad. Uh, I like how it always pushes me. I, mm. I always feel pushed by it, but in a good way. I feel like I'm stretching my intellect. You always feel you just know more about the subjects. Everything you do, it adds an extra sort of bit of knowledge to what you've done in maths and what you've done previously. I mean, it really spills and you, it helps you to understand everything else. Mm. Okay, and um, what don't you like about it? Stats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not too bad. It's also a bit of a workload because um, I mean, there's still quite a lot of difficult stuff but you're going to have less lessons to do it in. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to work hard on the other subjects to make sure you keep up to date. It's, it's just getting your head around some of the initial concepts to when you first come across certain topics, they might not make any sense, but once you get your head around them, you eventually, well, you can do them after you just practice with it. Okay. And what do you wish you'd known before you started the course? Um, make better notes, definitely. I've got things on random bits of paper. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do when revision comes. Yeah, I think you've got to be smart going in to it and make sure you're prepared for it. Because it's not, it's not like anything you know GCSE. Well, it's a little bit like what you know GCSE. Yeah, definitely but pay attention to the lessons when you're yeah. learning new stuff. Yeah. Because that takes a lot of effort. Also, you'll be coming back to it. And if you haven't got notes right the first mm -hmm. time, it's really bad the second time. You've sort of got to know why you want to do it as well, rather than just doing it as an extra subject. Doing it in support of the other subjects you're doing, like maths or science, maybe. It's yeah. useful. There's, if, you, if there's any doubt you don't want to do it, really think about if you want to do it or not. Because I'm, I'm not sure if that's the first one for me, but I imagine there would be some others who have come into further maths thinking they'd be brilliant at it because they'd be good at GCSE, but not necessarily so at A level. Okay, thank you very much.